Not really, actually. Oh, she sent the link? Yeah, my, my mind's in, let's see. I'm muted. Start video. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Wait, what was the link? <laughs> What was the link to you that you clicked on? Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. Oh, you have headphones? <laughs> I, can you, can you see me? <laughs> I can. I can see you before, too. I'm sorry. I hate Facebook. One time it works fabulously, and the next time it works horribly. So my apologies. Oh, that's okay. We've, we've done it through Be Live, which was linked to, to Facebook but never um, directly. So I could see you and I was like, I, I wonder if you could just add me. I didn't know. It didn't work. All right. Well, maybe, maybe Evan can give me a big uh, tutorial someday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, before I even start, when we were becoming friends on Facebook, I saw you're from Crystal Lake. Yeah. My mom's from Wonder Lake. Oh, okay. So I used to spend all of my summers up there in um, Wonder Lake. Hi, Evan. Hey. Um, so that's super cool. There he is. Yeah, the, the nothing. He's cute. You can put him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, nothing compares to a Midwest summer. It's just, I don't Yeah. Care. Yeah, well, I'm from Chicago, uh, south side of Chicago originally, and I moved down to Florida when I was 18. So, oh, okay. yeah, so we had fun. What brought you down here? This business, but business. I, I, by way of it, the Atlanta area. Wait, this is good content. Oh, okay. Live. Yeah, we could just be chatting live. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk all, I can talk all day about, about Crystal Lake. <laughs> um, right. That's you, awesome. You, That's awesome. Well, make, my my group knows I'm chatty, so they're okay with it. They all tell me that they like that stuff. We're not we're not professional at all. We're real people. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so hello everybody. You know me being chatty. Um, this is Dave. Dave is the founder of. <laughs> Are we live or no? <laughs> yeah, we're live. Oh no, we're talking. The whole time. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I can edit if you want me to edit something. I can certainly yeah. edit. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so Dave is the founder of Paleo on the Go, and Paleo on the Go is here locally for me in Largo, um, which is a hop skip. I'm in St. Pete right now, so it's a hop and a skip. And Paleo on the Go has been around for a long time. It was Paleo cool before Paleo was cool. Um, so I thought it's probably time we brought Dave on because we've had quite a few people wanting um, pre-made meals, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I just kind of wanted you to tell everybody what they need to know about Paleo on the Go and Paleo in general. Okay. So. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's weird to hear that we've been around for a long time, but yeah, that is, and, and you know, just how fast things changed. Those, very. Those were, uh, very different days. So mm -hmm. going back to, I, I didn't catch if you said, but 2012. Right. 2012. So yeah. um, the model has, I mean, small things in the, in the business model has changed, have changed and I think our food was always great, but now it's really amazing. And we've, um, you know, just honed in on a, a, a great menu, but also um, a system where we can smoothly roll out uh, new and fresh items. And we have, you know, uh, like comfort foods, which right. might not fall into your, your whole 30, but after, after that. Your so food freedom. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Some, you know, chicken pot pie and um, empanadas. Sometimes the things you crave. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. So why don't you tell everybody how you became paleo and what brought you to that? And then obviously you saw a need and then jumped into it. So why don't you just tell everybody a little bit about your story? Okay. Well, um, I do have uh, some health struggles going back to even you know, as long as I can remember, I wasn't quite aware what was going on. I just thought that was maybe normal or I, I, I don't know, like you grow up up north and 
it was, I had a cold like the whole year, you know, but I definitely had a lot of food intolerances that I had no clue about, you know, I took the allergy shots for, for different things. I don't think it was for food, but uh, just, I guess, sensitive um, body in general to be, so I took shots for like, uh -huh. Did you have asthma? No. Did you have I, asthma or just allergies? No, just a lot of allergies. Both my brothers had um, asthma, but no a allergies, and I was the opposite, which was really weird. But um, I know this isn't uh, uh, autoimmune related, but I have something called uh, eosinophilic esophagitis. So I started feeling that when I was like 15, 16, just a real weird sensation and pain and, and uh, difficulties swallowing food. And I just kind of didn't know what was going on, but that was about 16 years old. And I was always really interested in science. So I was kind of on a, even back then, on a pursuit to find answers to my health. So that led me down like a science path right. to college. And then I got into, I had a tree care company and I ran that for a long time. Nice. And so I got introduced to paleo through a CrossFit gym in my area. So this was 2000, uh, was like 2008 or nine. So very early in CrossFit, like I didn't know quite what that was, but I got started, found a great community and stuff there. But uh, where, with my health where it was at, I think it was too much. Like I was pushing myself too hard. But, you know, I was in my 20s and I just, that's I don't know. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I did. But at least, um, so right away, the, um, the owner, he's real, he's real knowledgeable, good guy, and he introduced me to paleo. So and I don't think I'd heard that. Like, I had read books like Facet Heal, Facet Kill, mm -hmm. um, and just different books, like I said, my, my own pursuit of looking for answers. But I'd never heard of paleo, so... I just did some, you know, I went in and just started researching and it made sense to me, you know, I just, and I said, I'm going to do this. And I, I went really strict for a pretty long time. And, you know, I was kind of doing whole thirties. I think for uh, a lot of times though, I would do what I thought was an okay cheat like on, on a weekend and it was a food that, you know, set me way back. So that didn't really, that wasn't a good idea. So anyway, I mm -hmm. started, you know, I, I, I'm like, I'm going to do this. So I did. And I did a lot of my own cooking or all my own cooking. And it wasn't very good in what I was doing. So I just thought of, you know, maybe through like an imagination or something, wow, it'd be cool to have a private chef and, and whatever. And I was, I was, you know, cooking vegetables with coconut oil all the time. And I just, I hated it, you know. And yeah, so you, you get, you get over it. Um, I should tell everybody when, what Dave's talking about, and I started about the same time that Dave did, that was the paleo dark ages where I can go into any store now and I'm just amazed at, the product selection where back then you, the, your only option was to make your own mayonnaise and you had to you, you had to source everything and everything had to be homemade and it was a full-time job trying to feed yourself properly so yes. I, I i feel for you because i i laugh because i i feel like i'm the old lady saying i used to have to you know trudge to the to the school you know five miles uphill through the snow but we we honestly didn't have anything and you did have to make all your own stuff and it, it was it was tough so we, we i call that the dark ages of of paleo hey, hey, but hey, hey debbie yeah just and then you can come in here we yeah, like I, you i, I, I checked the page and i don't i'm not sure if it's live to the page is it oh it's it's probably not it's probably not. Um, no, that's why I just, I said Zoom because I know it'll actually record. Oh, you'll and post. then what I can do is just, um, I've got some questions for you that some people asked and then we'll, I'll just pop in with, I'll ask you and you can answer later. 
But no, we're not live. I'm sorry, Evan. It was a big fail. Okay, so <laughs> oh, we'll figure it out next time. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to take up more of your time trying to figure out the, the live, so that's why I just said go yeah. to Zoom. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, yeah, we were trying. And Is that okay? Yeah. No big deal. So. Um, but yeah, so I, I remember the very first Paleo FX, there was like three vendors. Um, and I think you were at one of those, weren't you? I think, weren't you at the first Paleo FX? I don't know. second, that. maybe? Yeah, second or third. Okay. Uh, second or third, but. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, and, um, and I remember just because you know very very little came out of florida i was like yay they're in my backyard so i i ordered from you guys very early on and it was it was lovely because you know those days that you would come home and everything's everything's frozen so you can just pull it out and and thaw it and then you don't have to worry about it's convenience food is what it is and back then it was really convenient so I, I appreciate that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what you've gone through um, as a company, how you, what you've seen change, what you see on the horizon for paleo, um, things of that nature. And I'll find you some. Um, that is, that's a lot. <laughs> I know, I know. Just you've speak been, from your heart, it's okay. No, uh, so yeah, like it, it's been uh, such a huge challenge. I never imagined you know, uh, you know, things are going great right now. Mm -hmm. And it's still, it, it's a big, it's a big deal to put all this together and ship the food and, and keep it cold and everything that goes into it. It's, it's pretty um, amazing. And right. I, I chose early on, um, not trying to make it hard, but, but it was like the value to the customer came first. So I just right. wanted to make uh, the best food possible. So um, we've had, you know, a lot of different uh, evolutions, I guess, but kind of stayed, you know, very, very much the same throughout. There's a, there's a thread of, you know, that that's this, the same from day one. We learned a lot. Sure. <laughs> I learned a lot on, you know, on the job, didn't have much time to, um, like I didn't have a, uh, a background in right. and food. Uh, right. For this. So, um, and I guess, you know, and I was kind of on my own because there weren't like a lot of big influence influencers out there. Right. Say, hey, can you help me with my launch? You know, <laughs> Sure, so, sure. It's a it's a big difference, um, but you know I saw some some cool products, uh, you know, uh, earlier, and then like we were talking about, like since two thousand twelve or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's come such a long way, and there's a, a lot of neat stuff. I think people got caught up a little bit in. And, and this was with paleo facts, like too many snacks. And then it was like, well, these are still good choice for snacks. If people understand that they, that's what they are, you know, you know, so that's, it's overall a good thing. There's good snacks available. And then just, you know, how the grocery, the right. grocery stores have changed and people voting with their dollars and the type of stores that are like new chains that are like sprouts, you know, and yeah. uh, stuff like that, but just the choices that we see at what we have down here, Publix, you right. know, it's, that's, it's come a long way. And um, so there's a, yeah, a lot of companies and, and, you know, a lot of them came out of similar stories. You know, they were, they were mm -hmm. dealing with something on their own and they developed the product to, uh, to fill that need. And that's, that's what I did. I said, I, I want a personal chef kind of thing, but also, uh, cause it, it did help. I had, I do, I do have health struggles still, but, um, when I started eating paleo, um, there were some symptoms that went away or kept them at bay. Right. And for me, that was a huge win. Right. You know, like the, the, the condition in my esophagus was 
you know, I can hardly eat solid food. Mm -hmm. So keeping that at bay a little bit was a huge, right. a huge Flex, win. Yeah. So, that's basically, it sounds to me with what you're talking about, it basically inflames your whole esophagus so you can't, can't eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the same as asthma. It's just as the eosinophils in your lungs do the same thing, but you're getting it, you're getting it even beforehand, which is even more critical. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, we, uh, I know um, at the Whole30 Summit last year, we had a, um, a sauce company talk and they were saying that they were, you know, they're going and pitching their stuff to the grocery stores and Walmart and so on and so forth. They've got a, obviously a different business model than you, but they went on to say that these big companies who can't necessarily make quick adjustments in their business model are just going and acquiring all these other smaller paleo whole 30 you know snack companies and whatnot because it's growing so rapidly and they don't want to miss out on the market share yeah. and as you know as a part-time health coach and whole 30 coach that really meant a lot to me because that means the landscape of the grocery stores is changing and I just wondered if you knew anything like, you know, if you'd seen anything like that or what you've seen and maybe I would imagine for your company, the hardest thing to do is the shipping. Um, you know, if it's with this advent of like all the Hello Freshes and all those kind of things, if you've seen a, a change in that landscape at all. Um, so, yeah, I've kind of, you know, notice the same things. Companies getting bought out, and you know, you you have people that'll even say like, they're, they're a sellout. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, there's a company willing to spend big money because they realize that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a big, that's a a great sign. Yes. Because they're in the business of not necessarily putting out bad food, just making money. Mm -hmm. So you know, if they can if they can do both. You know, and they'll do it. So, um, yeah, I haven't noticed uh, too much beyond that. Like, I, I've, I've heard some, you know, some really good examples, and or I found out through a conversation. Oh yeah, so and so was just acquired by, um, you know, whatever uh, large company. So, with uh, with our business model, we're direct to consumer. Mm -hmm. So we're not even in the retail space at right. all. I don't know a lot about um, what that would look like, or if there's people or companies going, you know, kind of going for that as far as frozen yeah. food. I imagine it'd be difficult. I know that Walmart had some some options, but after looking at it, and you can you read the ingredients sometimes, and you're like, that's that's not good. What? But like, no one was able to trademark uh well not, well that's one you know, great thing about whole 30 because it is what it is right you know even though it, it's it's a you know a strict paleo and a time period but you can't say this is whole 30 unless it's whole 30 you could you could put any crap on the market and say it's paleo yeah so, that's that's unfortunate but hopefully the consumer is smart enough to to read the ingredients yeah we have to we have to tell our our group all the time you know just because it says whole 30 or a lot of times now what's happening because whole 30 and paleo on social media are such a draw people will put any number i mean i have seen birthday cakes with hashtag whole 30 on it because they just want to bring the people, you know, they want to get eyes on their page. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a problem, but you've just got to be really, really diligent about reading your labels. Um, just so our, our group knows, um, obviously you do paleo, paleo on the go, you do whole 30, um, you have a whole 30, how many days do you have five days of whole 30 or you can buy as many days as you want? Yeah. So we have a whole, an entire whole 30 menu so you can pick okay up, which makes up so you can do 30 
you can do 30 days with that then. You, yeah, you definitely could. So we have okay. a, a, a whole 30 sampler and then a full one. And I'm, I'm forgetting right now how many meals that is. I think it's like 15. But uh, so we, we kind of go back and forth, like how should we present this by like how many days? Right. Well, the printer is going off. Someone's printing. <laughs> no worries. But, um, yeah, I, I never know like how many days because that could get confusing. It's, or should we say how many meals? So we've been going with how many meals and people hopefully can kind of work that into their lifestyle. Yeah. We do a lot of customers yeah. that cook a lot, but they, but they're just, for the solution, I don't know, twice, three times a week, sometimes a lot more. And sometimes people right. think that they want to go three times a day. Yeah, and if it was somebody, like I had a, a client, a coaching client who she was doing jury duty and she just knew she was on a big, um, a murder case. And so she knew she was going to be like sequestered and she ordered and, you know, had two weeks of meals and she stayed compliant. And I'm like, okay, if you can hold 30 during all of this, nobody else has any excuses. So that's great because I mean, you're probably the, probably the most you're going to want to order at one time is two weeks anyway. And then when you get, you know, closer, then you order again. Um, you also have uh, autoimmune uh, protocol meals for, you know, our people who need no nightshades and things of that nature. So I wanted to make sure that you guys, that everybody knew about that. Um, has, has AIP been a big seller for you? Because I'm, I'm hearing more and more about it, but I don't know if that's just because I'm immersed, immersed in the, the culture or if it really is a growing thing. I just kind of wondered trend wise. Well, no, I think, unfortunately, um, autoimmune diseases are just epidemic, like really, really bad. And, but um, it's, but thankfully, um, people are finding the right sources and stuff. So um, our entire menu is autoimmune protocol friendly or autoimmune oh, okay. AO protocol. There's some differences and uh, it's set a couple different ways. But the same, the same strict uh, elimination, uh, there's, there's like reintroduction phases and stuff like that that's uh, more specific. Right. But our entire menu is um, autoimmune friendly. So it, it, you can kind of think of it as a Venn diagram. And you, you know, you have the okay. paleo and full 30 AIP and it, you know, all mm -hmm. meets in the middle. So we, um, Anything that's whole 30 is also going to be autoimmune friendly, right? So we, which right. is great because we just, it's, you know, we you feel simplified it. Yeah, and it's, it's so it's the mm -hmm. most exactly so it's easier to understand and but we've made a whole menu of uh, food that tastes um, amazing, but it's a you know a strict elimination diet still, um, and then we right with the whole 30. Um, most of our food was compliant. Uh, we're, you know, recently working with Whole30, which we're really mm -hmm. excited about. But uh, I, so the, the stuff that's not would be, uh, what did you call it? I'm sorry, like after, so like you do a, a Whole30. So and then, you have your, your prep phase, you've got your Whole30, then you have your reintroduction. And then after that, when most people, uh, we call it food freedom. Um, so, you know, you've reintroduced five food groups, so maybe you can't do dairy and gluten, but maybe you can do legumes. So if you want to add legumes back into your diet, then that's your food freedom. That's your food freedom. You can eat legumes, you know, or maybe you can eat everything, or maybe you don't want to eat any of it. So yeah, you just find from the whole 30 elimination diet, you find what works for you. And then that's your food freedom. So that's how that works. So our food freedom would we be needed a term, you know? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so, so uh, reintroduction for us, that would look uh, different. Coming out of Whole30, it, it would be just basically adding, we have uh, cassava flour and tapioca starch, tiger nut flour. We have some desserts and nice. stuff. But that's, oh, cool. that's the extent of, and they're amazing. Like our, our, I think our desserts are the best, but they do have honey or you know, some have molasses and right. sweetened with dates, I guess would be fine. But uh, 
Oh, maple syrup. So, so it wouldn't. So it wouldn't be for that that time where you're really trying to eliminate. Um, I mean, I get it. Like, keep it strict. Like, eliminate mm. that, that sugar. Make it easy on yourself. Right. Um, and that's you know you get to the the food freedom part and you can, um, yeah. you know, expand a little bit. You but just look, order I mean, the desserts when you're done with your whole thirty. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, but as far as like our entire product line, it's, it's very, very um, healthy, nutrient dense, you know, there's even. It, it, I mean, you've made it a no brainer. It's all AIP, you know, with the 30. Yeah. Oh, so to answer your, yeah, you answer your question about like what I thought um, about uh, AIP. Um, we, I've, few years ago or it was four years ago I think I, I could just see that it, I was reading up on it and, and you know um, paleo mom stuff and mm -hmm. I, I kind of again thought like this makes sense and I think this is going to be important to include so I tasked the chef with getting to like 40 or 50 percent of the menu being AIP friendly so um, we didn't really make a decision mm -hmm. that we were just going to be AIP it's it was really the, the people voting through what they were buying um it's a it's okay. a little sad because there was a few favorites uh, maybe four or five things that we ended up um you know cutting but that but that was it we were pretty much we were at the end like we're like wait we have two items that aren't autoimmune friendly we might as well right you know, we might as well move to 100%. So it made sense at that point. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't trying to pigeonhole myself into that. It's just that's uh, that's, that's what the people wanted. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it, it's a it's a great group of people that are you know really knowledgeable and um, and thankful and see the value in what we do. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of suffering uh -huh. too with these health issues. So it, you know, they, they can't prepare their own meals. Right. Sometimes. Right. A lot of times. Yeah. Now you work, you work with Eileen Laird, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, anybody that doesn't know anybody that has an autoimmune disease or just wants to learn more about AIP, Eileen is just a, the sweetest person. And she has got so much, information and knowledge between her podcast and when I, I did I did 30 days of AIP or 60 days I don't remember and um, and her book was uh, she has an ebook and it was fabulous because AIP can get a little scary there's a there's a lot out there um, and it was it was really really good so I, I you know I'll put in the resources about Eileen um, but I, I remember listening on her podcast and she's like, paleo on the go. And I was like, okay, that's brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, good. One of my new favorite people is hanging out with one of my new, my favorite um, meal planners. So that's awesome. But yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. That's been awesome. I'm partnering with her. She has her own, um, like a small meal bundle on our site too. Yeah. I was, if you saw me moving around, I was looking for her little book. I know there's an ebook, but it's, I forget something about uh, basically it's a, just a simple guide. So you have like the paleo mom who wrote uh, an amazing textbook with all the science. It, it was cutting edge, like taking the, she wrote the book. The paleo yeah. Approach. yeah. She, so that was great. And then Eileen has this small book. That's just a, a great thing for people. The cliff notes. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's, um, that's really neat. I forgot. I was going to say one more thing, but it slipped my mind. So that's all right. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to take up your whole day because I would, because obviously I love this subject, so I wouldn't pick your brain all day long. But is there anything coming down the pike from Paleo on the Go or anything we should know? So um, the, the whole 30 items are, so we've been partnered, gosh, I forget now, for a couple months, I think. Yeah, right at a couple months. So those two uh, meal bundles are really great. And okay. uh, so you can plan out if you have 30 days, you can, you can plan out your meals. And uh, it will say when you get to the site, Paleo on the Go, it'll tell you like how, how many meals 
come with the sampler and then how many come with the full. So if you need two meals a day, you can do the math and purchase that. And like you said, you could do it in two week in increments. So two orders during that time. Um, so what's coming up in general, uh, we have just a, a lot of great food. And then uh, I'm lucky enough to get to taste. We have uh, our executive chef actually spends a good bit of her time just on like research and development. So it, it's, it's not someone we just, you know, I mean, she's professionally trained in everything, but it, it, it's not someone who mm -hmm. that's just doing it to do it. Like she's, she's knowledgeable and super passionate about it and super passionate about making great food. So in general, uh, just some new dishes. So if you, if you follow our, um, our newsletter or e-blast, whatever mm -hmm. we call it, we'll always announce that, you know. And right. so I think, uh, so in general, we, we're doing sometimes more, but at least once a month, we have a new item. So I, I kind of know what's coming up and I've tried a lot of it, most of it, and it's just uh, amazing. So, um, you know, always with like nutri nutrient density, in mind uh, some people might not like this but we're always trying to work in organ meats not into <laughs> all the dishes don't get me wrong but into a few things right. no, that's, that's important yeah yeah so like our shepherd's pie um, has heart in it uh, liver is a little Good. bit tougher to work with if, if anyone if you tried it you know yeah you kind of like it or don't like it kind of thing. Uh, for the summer, we have bone broth. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if you were asking a question. Oh, bone can you say, uh, yeah, no, no. Um, can you say, you started with bone, but something about bone broth, but you kind of cut out. Can you say that again? Sure. So I think it was uh, just a, last Sunday, we just released bone broth pops and we have three different flavors. So it's just uh, real fruit and uh, bone broth. So comparing that to the like the freezy pops that or whatever you call it, uh, you know that you get into the you get in the stores. Right. We actually have those. I wish I had one to show you right now. <laughs> yeah, the popsicles, mm -hmm. but the yeah, like the freezy pops that come in the big mm -hmm. plastic pack. So. Um, <laughs> And I, and I just found out right before this, or maybe we were live, but we're from the, the same area. So we probably called it something similar, you know. Right. Different, names, right. different areas. But anyway, those are really popular. And we, we run those uh, through the summer. And so just look for deals. We, we have a newsletter that comes out a couple times a week. And, um, and it'll probably be part of our uh, meal bundle. Okay. Um, oh, a big thing is uh are being able to be on the subscription uh, oh yeah it's a we do offer like well i didn't mention but there's an a la carte menu so it's like an online grocery store fully prepared meals but then we do have meal bundles that we've picked out uh so but it's not it's not a mandatory subscription right that's not that's not our model so you, like we've been talking about you can pick and choose but we do offer a subscription right now and we're working in for, for one, you get 5% off of every order or 10% off your first. And then 5% is, you know, as long as you're on the program and we're working on uh, some really cool stuff as far as value added items or value added. Just, yeah. <laughs> added value. <laughs> added, but yeah. yeah. You're right. To, to being um, part of the subscription. So, uh, you get to be a VIP, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And you find out first uh, about, you know, the newest items and, and people, people like that, you know, so they can right. try the new stuff. And it's, it's pretty exciting. Awesome. Oh. Well, I'm very excited. Well, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'll put this Zoom up. And then if anybody has any questions, I'll just shoot them over to Evan and um you know get some answers for everybody and, and um i am so excited this is 
Paleo on the go is such a, well, first of all, I'm going to come over. Um, Evan said I could come tour the kitchen, so mm -hmm. it's his fault, but I definitely still want to come meet everybody and tour the kitchen. Um, oh, but um, we'll get any answers for any questions anybody has, um, but it's just an excellent way to, if you're busy or you're richly scheduled, to make sure that you're still eating well. And I can't think of a nicer company to, um, I, I firmly believe in voting with your dollars. So, you know, it, I, I love um, champion, championing um, these kind of, of companies. So um, I just wanna say thank you, Dave. Thanks for taking your time out of your day. And I know it's a pain in the butt, so no <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I, I love that. Right. I, I hope that I didn't miss anything. No, no, no. If you had any questions still, like, you know, no problem. This is great to be able to, you know, to get the word out. And I just, uh, you know, hopefully hit, you know, some different important points and just make sure to check out the, the website paleoonthego.com right. and you can, uh, you know, find anything you want. And then you mentioned Evan and we do have other people on our marketing team, you know, ask, so ask, uh, you know, in when you post this video, ask there, or reach out to us, uh, you know, friendly staff, and we'll answer any questions you have. Very much so. I will make sure that we get them all to you. And um, again, just thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, we look all forward right. to uh, seeing you. Okay. I'll, I'll be on your radar. Don't you worry. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.